All eyes and ears were laser focused on the country's capital city, Belmopan, as the highly anticipated UDP contested convention took place on Sunday at the UB Gymnasium. Former Minister of National Security John Saldiver was victorious in the three way race against retired Colonel George Lovell and auto salesman Emil Torres. This was the scene outside of the voting grounds around 11 o'clock in the morning. Dozens of people stood in a queue that seemed to never move. The three candidates put aside their competitiveness for a brief moment, and Torres explains how they were able to get the ball rolling. This is for morning from 9 o'clock. I told him this would not make sense. The chairman insisted that he would control all the tickets at one station and everything would be bottlenecked to him. People have to go or verify their name, then come back to him. That whole process will take you one minute in there. You see how much people out there. You can't shift the goalposts in at the middle of the game. We establish rules boundaries and guidelines on Wednesday's meeting. Chairman come and make up his own thing. So you know what? We had to stand. The same way I stand up to him, I will stand up for the rights of everybody in Belmopan. Just like that. Because you know what? They don't intimidate me. No disrespect. But they don't intimidate me. You know what? Because they don't pay my bills. You know what? They don't pay for my campaign. So you know what? I don't owe them anything. That's the bottom line. So yes, that's the biggest downfall of humanity. Indecision. Then he did it, ba 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 all day long while people out there saw the suffering at the heat. I told him, enough is enough. Make we go in there so go talk to the people because this is not the work. And watch man it now. It flows smoothly. And indeed, the long line of voters quickly ebbed away as the flow became more controlled. After that moment of disarray, the candidates quickly reverted into campaign mode. Retired Colonel George Lovell has been receiving an outpour of public support from the party leader Moses Shine Barrow in the weeks leading up to the event. Vote for retired Colonel George Lovell. And he was the one Barrow was rooting for. Love News caught up with Lovell two hours into the convention to get an insight into how he was feeling. You see all those people that you see, don't see with shirts? Yeah, look at these lines. Look at these lines. Who are, do, who are those people? Look at them, look at them. Come come this way and have a good look. From here, see? You see any John Saldiva? You see any Emil Torres? There's one. See, one John Saldiva there. There's no more. My campaigners alone is as much as probably what John Saldiva and Emil have. Don't be fooled by the campaigners. It's the people. Remember, it's a numbers game and it's about the people. And that's why I ask you to look along the line again to confirm and recant your statement because it's not what you're thinking and not what you're seeing. Over 1,900 voters cascaded into the auditorium throughout the course of the day to cast their votes. UDP standard bearer John Saldiver conceded that they were expecting a large turnout at this highly anticipated convention. He says that from his view, the people of Belmopan were receptive to his candidacy and seemed willing to give him a second chance. He says that despite not having the support of the party leader, he is willing to work along with him for the betterment of the party and Bomopan. Definitely the social and economic services that used to be provided to our um, residents here in Belmopan, whether it be through pantry, booths, educational help, medical help, um, those have now come to almost a grinding halt. And, and of course the infrastructure development in Belmopan. It's been two years, 10 streets paved versus 130 streets during my uh, 13 years in, in, in government. So people see it, it's noticeable and that's what they're crying about. I was expecting a large turnout and so far that, it, that is what it has been. Um, the people of Belmopan are sending a strong message to Oscar Mira that they are not happy with him. Whether they are here to vote for myself or Mr. Lovell or Mr. Torres, they are here also to express their disappointment with, with Mira. So I expected a large turnout. Giovanna Mogel for Love News.